Hello everyone, hope you found it doing great. Welcome to Leo's Tech Channel. If you're new here, welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again. In this lecture, we're gonna learn how we can knock out domain name system server. So the question is how we can uninstall or how we can remove DNS server using Windows Server 2022, the most recent Windows. Why are we supposed to do that? But sometimes it does require if you want to upgrade or if you want to or if you want to decommission some of the server. I think it does require to remove the DNS server. So here's the step how we can uh, remove the DNS server. The first thing is that you have to log into domain, can, domain, or we can say admin user. So that is your only user which has a all permission, or we can say full control over the domain controller. Once you log into your domain controller, what we're gonna do in here is we have to search for server manager. It automatically pop up because nowadays with the Windows. Uh, I can say Windows Server 2019, Windows Server 2020, Windows Server uh, 2012 <coughs> are the same. Come to Manage. Once you come to the Manage, uh, Remove Rules and Future. <coughs> and here we have to collect Next. Um, of course, I have one domain controller and I just want to remove that DNS. Once you get in here, you will see that DNS server. And check this one. So I would say that yes, Remove Future that require DNS server. Anything which related to DNS server should be removed. So one thing you should keep in your mind, once you remove this one, and your DHCP server has the same DNS, or if you have assigned this DNS IP to some of your client, they may not be able to access the internet because the DNS is gone for ever. I have no idea what's your plan, but in here in my plan, the DNS is going to be uh, leave our domain controller <coughs> so uh, I just click next and I picked that yes if it required to restart please restart the server as well um, <coughs> okay so what what we have learned so far is that how we can remove the DNS server uh, using Windows Server 2022 uh, these are the procedure you have to log into the domain controller and once you log into that one, so you have to search for server manager. Once you get here, you have to go to manage. Once you get there, so you have to click remove programs. And once you get there, I'm sure you will find the DNS server and uncheck the DNS server next, next. I'm sure it does require, the, um, it does require um, restart as well. Um, yeah, because the DNS is, a, it's, I can say it's a very, um, huge uh, services or servers in our uh, company or we can say in the most of company organization and uh, that's uh, do a very very um, a big responsibility so from cybersecurity stand by my suggestion is to have a private DNS never try to use a public DNS so that's the thought to across my point all right here you go guys it's restarting means we are successfully remove DNS server and meanwhile uh, it is restarting the Windows server we just want to cross check from A to Z how to uninstall DNS server all right server manager is automatically pop up uh, what is news do you have do I have any news in here guys if you remember in here before we had um, all right so we remove it's gonna take a few more minutes to make sure the dns is installed properly all right now it is we can close and uh, this is only just uh we can see an uh, this is only just an alert like hey you know what something is removed from your um we can say um, from the server just make sure that something is removed in here and uh, now <coughs> I'm sure if you if you remove the DNS server from troubleshoot this can find uh, most of the client which has the same DNS IP may not be able to access and order to cross check that there is no DNS you have to come to CMD um, once you get in here um, it is very hard because um, especially if you do this kind of big move CMD uh, near the NS lookup just cross check. Here you go. There is there is there is no DNS. 
ten dot um, zero dot two dot fifteen was my DNS. Here is no DNS, which is beautiful. Or once you uh, install another DNS, you have to do that IP config, IP um, IP config slash flash DNS to make sure that if you assign another IP, uh, another DNS IP should take that IP as well. You have to flash the DNS because for the domain controller to keep and it's caching. All right, this was how we can remove a DNS server using Windows Server 2022. The only way to appreciate my work is to simply subscribe my channel and share this information with your colleagues, with your friends, with whoever you think they're pursuing this kind of information. Until next time, stay safe, be brave, and of course, see you guys next time.